Hey my friends, as in yesterday's video we've mentioned a little bit Nikola Tesla and today I want to share with you his vision of the future about the new world. What could be the greatest prediction of the new world from one of the greatest minds of our history? A great scientist, Nikola Tesla, said this new world should be the world in which the strong want exploit the weak, the bad want exploit the good, where the poor won't be humiliated by the rich. It will be the world in which the children of intellect, science and skills will serve to the community in order to make lives easier and nicer, and not to the individuals for gaining wealth. This new world can't be the world of humiliated, the broken, but the world of free people and nations equal in dignity and respect for men. Isn't it a powerful vision of the future? And as many people right now are facing with fears, with anger, with frustration and stress about what is happening right now, I want to remind you to not be distracted by the fear of what could go wrong or what can be the worst case scenario or, you know, most of the information that are spreading around are not even real. So if you want to find the truth, create the truth within you. Make it up. As same as we are making up stories about what can go wrong or what we should be afraid of, we can make up stories what can go right and what can happen. We can all visualize greater potentials and we can all bring our visions to reality. Everything that we see around us was once visualized in somebody's mind. So use everything you see as a reminder that your vision of the future can happen. And when we, we are talking about the vision of the future, I can share how I'm visualizing the future world. When I'm doing my meditation, every time when I'm visualizing, I'm seeing people connected. I'm visualizing like I'm walking through the city and I'm seeing people hugging trees. I'm seeing people smiling. When I'm welcoming people, I see life in their eyes. I see how they are helping each other, interacting with each other with love and compassion. I see a great joy in community called human beings. And I like to visualize different places so I can get a feeling as it is happening all around the world. People in general are happy, healthy, inspired. This is my vision of the future and I like to feel it emotionally. So I elevate emotions as it would already happen. I ask myself how would I feel if it would be already real so I can train my body to feel it already. So. I would like to invite you with this video to overcome stress, overcome fear, overcome panic and all different emotional states which are lowering down our vibration. We all know that we can't function normally in these emotional states, but we can all overcome those states. We can all rise our vibe beyond that. We can all spread some love. We can all exchange some joy, some compassion. And we can all feel inspiration by that greater vision. So doesn't matter what is happening right now, always remember that it is a reflection of our past actions. What we will experience in the future will be a reflection of our present actions. We have a choice and we have a power. So this is it for today, my friends. Never lose faith and never lose hope. But in order to build, to get faith, to build hope, 
we need to see a vision of the future. In other words, hope is a byproduct of seeing vision of the future. Only people which don't have vision of the future can't have hope for the future. Therefore, they are lost in the past. But I'm constantly reminding you, have a vision of the future. Create it with your powerful imagination. See what you would like to experience. And together we can walk towards it. Let's raise your vibe and spread some love, my friends. This is it for today. Have a beautiful day. I'm sending you love, power and blessings. See you soon. One love.